In this part, we're going to start studying ordinary differential equations. So uh, this is the introductory video to ordinary differential equations. The first thing we need to do is lay down the nomenclature. Uh, we have an independent variable and a dependent variable. So for now I'm going to call x the independent variable and y the dependent variable. And in this case, uh, just just give you an example of the functions that we've seen before. So, so x is independently defined, so it could be anything, but y is given uh, by x, right? Uh, so if, if you look at this example, y equals minus 0.5x to the fourth plus 4x cubed minus 10x squared plus 8.5x plus 1. So that is uh, dependent only on on x. So if we're given x and, and we know the relationship, then we have y. And uh, what we've been studying to this point is differentiation and, and integration. So for example, if we were going to differentiate y uh, with respect to x, we could say dy dx. And it just so happens that this function, uh, for this example, now we learned how to do it numerically, but if for this example, this is easy to do analytically, so we can uh, do this. Uh, 4 times uh, 1 half is, is going to be 2, I believe, so we got minus uh, 2x cubed plus 12, 3 times 4, 12x squared uh, minus 20x plus 8.5. So that'll be dy dx. All right, so great, no problem. Now the other thing we can do, so that was differentiation. The other thing we can do is we can try to go in the other direction. We can have dy dx and try to come up with y, and that we generally call uh, integration. And, and we looked at uh, definite integrals, uh, taking uh, numerical integration for, for definite integrals with the Newton-Cotes formulas. And, and so that was a good way of, of doing integration. There's also indefinite integration. And indefinite integration, um, you, you do the integral and then, um, and then you, or you do the antiderivative, rather, and then you um, use, and, and then you can use one other point to solve for the missing information. And the relationship between integration and antiderivatives is given by the fundamental theorem of calculus. But rather than um, get into the, the the mathematical details, but again, this this problem is the main problem we're going to look at: is going from dy dx uh, back to y, trying to reconstruct y. And I just want to show this. Uh, one more time here, so graphically anyway. So we, we have this function y, and when we take the derivative, uh, then we get dy dx. So that's derivative. That's great. Now when we try to go in the other direction, uh, we have a little bit more trouble. So we can do the antiderivative, uh, which which is related is is in a similar its integration its its indefinite integration. However, when we do that, uh, this is the problem that we run into when we go backwards and we try to come up with the function uh, that it came from. Uh, then it's not uniquely defined if we just uh, do the indefinite integral. So that's why we say uh, the integral of let me just I'll just write this the integral of uh, let's say f of x dx uh, is equal to um, I'm going to call it f of x, I'll call that, that's the antiderivative plus some constant, you have some constant of integration and you don't know necessarily what that constant of integration is. However, if you're given the function value at some point, you can figure it out. So uh, it, we have this slope field, and we don't know which function it comes from, so we can draw. The slope field is given directly by this function. It's just you take the derivative uh, and you plot it out for each point. So all the derivatives here, you can draw them out as arrows, and then the, the, the response is going to follow that, that slope field. Uh, however, we don't know which which uh, which function uh, it originally was. How, it, but if we look 
uh, at the original function. Now I know we weren't given it, but if we just pick one point, so this one actually went through the point uh, x equals 0, y equals 1. So if we were given that, then x equals 0, uh, y equals 1, that's this point right here. So we can pick it out. It's this one right here. So this one is our answer. That is the one that it came from. And we just have to have the, uh, we have to have the derivative information, and then we also have to have one initial point. And that's the type of problem that we're going to work out, work with at the beginning here. Now, uh, this is just the legend for the, the, the um, plot, so you can see that we have all these different constants added for each of the different things that I've plotted out here. Well, that actually was a simpler uh, case than we're going to, to um, solve generally. So this was the case where we had dy dx is equal to some function of x. All right, That is good, um, but a, an ordinary differential equation, at least the first order ones that we're going to deal with now, uh, we're going to do uh, something a little bit more complicated and not allow it to be only a function of x. We're going to allow dy dx is some function of x and y, both. Uh, or y. So it may have lots of x's in it. It may not have any x's. It may only have y's. It may have only x's. So you can see this is a special case of that. Uh, but this is more general. And this is the problem uh, that we want to solve. And so I want to look at a case where, where dy dx is only a function of y, uh, just to give you uh, a concrete idea uh, of a particular example. So uh, one example of that is dy dx is equal to negative ky. And this is the radioactive decay uh, equation, the, the general equation, before we actually solve it. Now we can solve uh, this uh, uh, we can solve this differential equation and the way we can do it is uh, by integration. Now we can do this by either indefinite integration or uh, definite or, or, or doing definite uh, a definite integral. Um, so what we can do then is say y is equal to, um, excuse me, let me look here. So I want to take y to the other side and, and separate the dx. And so I'm going to have 1 over y dy is equal to negative k dx. Uh, and then I can integrate both sides. So the constant doesn't need to do anything. And I can either use limits of integration here, uh, so, or I can, um, or I can do the in indefinite integral and solve uh, for the constant. Uh, I'm actually, uh, for this example, going to to put in uh, the limits of integration because you can see that it's you should be able to see that it's the same. So let's say y initial uh, to y final, and let's say this is going from x initial. Uh, to x final, and so that's going to give us uh, the integral of 1 over y is the ln of y. It's actually the ln of the absolute value of y, but y in this case uh, represents the amount of radioactive substance uh, that you have, and you can never have a negative amount of, of, of substance, and so this is always going to be positive. So we don't have to worry, uh, because of the physical situation this comes from, we don't have to worry about the absolute value signs in this. Uh, so it's equal to uh, negative kx. Great. And, um, uh, well, okay, that would have been if we did uh, indefinite integral. Sorry, we're doing, we're doing uh, a definite integral. So if it's indefinite integral, we would have just added a constant. But we've, we've defined this uh, limits of integration. So that'll be ln of y final minus ln of y initial. Uh, is equal to negative k x final minus x initial. And uh, we can keep going here. We can say, uh, let's see, we can take e and make it a base for all of this. Okay, uh, that's something that we can do. And the other thing you may notice here is we're, 
where we have these ln's of y subtracted, uh, we can also we can divide it. So that'll be e to the ln of yi over no, it's the y final. Uh, that's the top. The top is the positive one. So y final over e to the ln of y initial uh, is equal to uh, e to the minus k x final minus x initial. And x in this case is, is typically going to uh, represent time. So we could just say we could just say that that our initial time is equal to zero. So uh, that would make that go away. Uh, the other thing, so let's see, simplify this. e to the ln is just uh, um, just the y, so we got yf over yi. But rather than just writing that, I'm going to multiply over the other side. So that is equal to yi e to the minus k x final. So uh, this is uh, the solution. Uh, to that differential equation and of course until uh, and we have to have the initial information this y initial uh, to be able to be able to solve that now if we had done if we didn't have y initial if we didn't have this starting point uh, we still could have solved this with an indefinite integral and then plugged in uh, the information that we had so we could figure out which which point it went through in a slope field like this. Actually, if we plot out the slope field for this, um, f of x, y is equal to minus k, y, uh, this is what it looks like. And so let's say the initial amount of substance is equal to 3. Um, and if that's true, then uh, this would be our uh, solution to this uh, ordinary differential equation.